This next one comes from Glenn Missif, and he asks, um, I would like to hear you discuss your best practices for making revisions and upgrades to deployed apps if you are not on the enterprise plan. So there are a few things that you can do to manage updating your app. Um, and I've kind of got a one, two, three right here for you. You can't use the stable version if, you, if you're if you just using a regular, if you have like a core or the standard or the starter, I can't remember what the words are. Um, if you don't have the enterprise, you can't use the stable version. But, so what do you do? Um, okay, so the first thing that you can do, um, this is something that I do all the time, um, is add an extra column to your tables. Just add one column to every table. I actually usually add like three or four, to be honest, because these things come in handy. Um, if you're a patron supporter of mine, the standard starting template all automatically has a temp column in the end. Um, that's what that's for. Uh, the idea is like, okay, I'm in this scenario where I've got people in the field offline that are using the app, but I need to implement something right now while those people are out there, but I still need to make this fix because I need to fix something, right? Um, okay, if you didn't have an extra column inside your app that wasn't being used for anything, you are SOL in that situation. You have to wait for those people to get back online and get all of the stuff off of their apps so that they're, you know, at a green, at a, at a, at a green state, you know, with no updates or anything and they're ready to go, then you can do things. Okay, the solution, right? Add this temp column because if you, and the temp column is a simple thing. It's just literally, you know, call it whatever you want. I call it temp one. Um, and it's like a text and it's hidden. There's nothing to it. It's literally there for you to use. So when you're in that scenario where you got people that are offline and I need to add a column to my table, I need to add a physical column to my table. I've got one there available. All I've got to do is repurpose the one that's there. This is why I usually do like four <laughs> because you ever fall into that scenario, having those there really helps um, because you won't break the app by changing what the column does you break the app when you change the structure of the table. That's the key. Um, so I can change what columns are doing. I can add virtual columns. I can blah, 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 blah. I can do all of this stuff to my heart's content. I just can't change the actual physical setup of the table when those people are offline. Can't change it. I can't reorder columns. I can't add, I can't delete. I need to leave that alone, but I can change what everything's doing inside there to my heart's content. So that's step number one add an extra column into your table to, to manage that. Okay, the next thing you could do um, is, this is really just good standard practice for software developing, right? Manage your updates. You know that you're gonna be doing some work on the app and you probably can isolate out when you're gonna be doing big changes, like when you need to make changes to the structure. So when you know that you've gotta do stuff like that, okay, pause send like an email out to everybody saying, hey, I've got some stuff I need to do that's gonna break the app. I'm gonna do it in a couple of days at this time between here and there, right? And so you set up a window where you say, app's not gonna work during this time. And you just make sure that you communicate this to everybody so everybody's aware, so everybody knows, okay, on Friday at 9 a.m., the app's not gonna work for an hour. So I need to know that, I need to make sure that I have all my work done that all my syncs are uploaded, like the user, they'll have this in their mind. So that's the way to do that, right? Um, and then when you're doing that update, this is a, a, a thing that I've kind of figured out over the, over the time. You don't have, like there's only, the only time that's critical is when you're actually making the changes to the table structure. So really you only need five minutes because you need a five minute window where you can go to the data source add your column, delete, do, do whatever you're doing over there to your data source, go back to the app and regenerate the columns. And as soon as you've got those columns in the system, you're good to go. You're good to go at that point. You won't break it any further because after that, the structure is set. You're just changing what things do, right? Um, so like even when you're managing this thing where you say, oh, app's gonna be broke for an hour on Friday, in reality, like it's only going to be broken for the small time where you're changing the columns, the actual, doing the actual column work. After that, you could technically say, okay, cool, we're, we're good to run. 
as long as you know you're not breaking it with software or breaking the formulas and references you know what i mean but like so that's number two is managing the updates um one of the things that i have on here is if you're a patron supporter of mine i have a couple of auto tables that i put out that i literally made in order to manage this and make it easier uh the welcome auto table and the notifications table the whole idea with these is i've got a welcome page that's like a that's like a landing page for everybody and then in that i can have an inline view of all of these notifications so when i need to do some sort of you know i'm going to break the app and i need an edit window i can create a notification record that's shown inside that that uh, welcome page so when people open the app they they're immediately dropped into the welcome page and they can see the new notification and maybe I create some way to like flag it so like they can acknowledge that they have seen it. I've done that in the past too, especially when we're dealing with um, updates like this, where I'm gonna break the app, I need to make sure that this person responds and says, yes, I heard you, the app will be broken, I won't be using it. The, 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 last, thing, uh, the last thing that you could do to help solve all of this is a development versus a deployed version. Um, this is literally where you make a copy of your app and you use that secondary app as the thing that you're using to work on your app. Because then it's a separate, it's, it's a separation of your apps. You literally have two different apps. The one that everybody's using, which I'm gonna leave alone, right? That works, it's all good. Uh, and then the one that I'm working on. So then I can break this one. I could like, you know what I mean? Like it could be broken forever. And then eventually when I finally get it to the point to where, okay, this one's good, then I can go back to my production app and I can use, there's a feature inside there called app upgrade. That's available for everybody. And basically what it does is it changes the app to a clone of whatever you, you specify. So you specify another app and then that app becomes a clone of the other one. So I have, a I have a production version that people are using, and then I have a deployment, uh, a development version where I'm doing whatever, right? So then after a while, this one becomes the one that I wanna use. I go back to my production version and I upgrade this one to this one. Make a few little changes to differentiate one from the other because it literally becomes a carbon copy. So like I need to change the name, um, but then there we go. All of these changes have now on top of this one and this one is now good to go. And then I can keep working on this one. I can keep breaking it. And then when I'm ready to do it, port it over to that one. So there are methods that you can use to, to manage, you know, deployments uh, when you have people offline. It's not as nice, nicely of a smooth integration than you get when you have uh, the enterprise license, but you can still totally do it. Um, one last thing before I'm going to dive into a calendar integration, that should be fun.